Ooh, so team keep it clean man first and foremost i really really appreciate y'all i really do i know we say it all the time because i, I mean it all the time though and i want people to know that um thank you for everything that y'all do for me personally thank y'all for everything that y'all do uh for my family just supporting the channel the channel the way that y'all do i really really appreciate it uh big big updates uh that we gotta share in this video the first first one and probably the biggest one um we got a baby on the way uh, we are pregnant i know some of y'all probably looked at my belly before and say oh you probably been pregnant for years well no my wife now she's partaking too so she is pregnant as well she is um it's still early but yeah she, she's pregnant uh, we are pregnant we are expecting uh the due date is around june so we got a little ways to go um but yeah i um i wanted to share that with y'all because Y'all are getting ready to be a bunch of uncles and aunts and cousins and all that. Uh, so I wanted to let y'all know. So um, I did share it with some people, a few people uh, at the tailgate the other day at the Ravens game. Um, but yeah, now letting all the team keep it clean know that we expect it. Um, so yeah, man, it's, it's exciting. It is um, it's something that we had sort of went back and forth on because... When we had Carter, um, like maybe a couple years later, we were like, oh, yeah, you know, let's, let's have another one. Then initially I was like, no. Then there would be some times I'd be like, yeah, no, I do I want another one. Then I'd be like, ah, oh, no. And now it's happening. Uh, Carter's eight. So when the new baby is born, Carter, will, he will still be eight. Uh, he'll be nine like a month later. But, yeah, man. So, yeah, they'll be about nine years apart. Uh, so we are running it back. Uh, so, yeah, it should be fun, though, especially um, just having the experience now. Uh, of having one child but now um just getting ready to go through the process of having another one so it should be really really cool man but uh i wanted to didn't want to share that with y'all for a while because we know him for a little while but um but yeah this that's that's that uh so yeah man I'm, I'm excited now um some other updates uh for this week this week will be a sort of different week on the channel because for a lot of the time I, i'm probably going to be out of the loop uh, with whatever's going on there will still be videos there'll be questions from subscribers and whatnot and i'll check in on stuff when i can but for a lot of part because we'll be very very busy uh this week so if you don't get updates like right then and there when something's happening just don't worry it'll be on the way uh later on um so just want to give you all the heads up with that um because yeah this this is gonna be a very 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 busy week uh for my family um, nothing bad is happening. All all good stuff. Everything is great. Uh, so ain't nothing to worry about. But yeah, we'll be out of the loop for the most part. We will be streaming the game uh, on Sunday night, the, the the Ravens and Chargers game. And boy, he, like if if I'm Justin Herbert, I'm scared. Like straight up, I'm scared. Reason being because Ravens played Deshaun Watson out for the season. Ravens played Joe Burrow. Out for the season If I'm Justin Herbert I'm like man What is going on And then on top of that If I'm What's his name Brandon Staley If I'm the head coach Of the Chargers I'm scared Because You can have some bad games Like Bad one o'clock games Bad four o'clock games And if your seat is warm National TV Like if you were on National TV For the world to watch Ooh <laughs> Yeah, and then you mess up on there? Oh, yeah, you're scared. So I expect this game against the Chargers to be a very tough one. I really do. Because the Chargers, they are getting desperate. They're in desperation mode right now because a lot is not going good. A lot has not gone right. And when a lot doesn't go right, you're almost like, you know what? What else is there to lose? So they pull out everything. So I expect to see them going forward on fourth down early and often. I expect them to see I expect to see trick plays. I expect them to do every any and everything that they can and possibly win the game against the Baltimore Ravens. So Ravens gotta be on point. Uh but anyway, we we will be streaming that game. But again, throughout the week, it's just it's not gonna be a normal week uh here on the channel. So I wanted to let y'all know that. So so y'all know ahead of time another thing um on the channel I, I know we got the second channel but it's like it's so i don't know how people do it i don't know how people keep up with multiple channels especially multiple channels that are very similar to each other i just i'm i try but I, I just can't it's just too much man it's too much so 
I did say that this channel would be 100% Baltimore, a Baltimore Ravens channel. Now that is going to be adjusting just a little bit, not nothing crazy though. So while we will start, still talk everything Baltimore Ravens. Um, <clears throat> oh, we we will chime in on some other AFC North stuff from time to time as well. Stuff that's going on around the AFC North, because I mean that that is still Ravens talk because it directly impacts the Ravens at least. Two times a year, possibly a third. We'll see how the season shakes out. But we've seen how previous seasons have shaked out, even last year, because they played the Bengals three times. But um, so yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna dive into some different AFC North stuff from time to time um, here on this channel. I mean, you saw we 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 had to talk about Joe Flacco. We had to talk about Flacco, him signing with the Browns. But yeah, man. So I this this channel it will still be primarily Ravens, but we'll we'll, we'll dip our toes into some. Bengals talking Browns and Steelers and all that You know how it goes So just wanted to give y'all the heads up on that <clears throat> But yeah, other than that That's that That's that So make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, Turn your notifications on Again, this will be sort of a, a weird kind of week uh, On the channel again There will still be videos But again, I, I'm probably going to be out of the loop uh, For the most part with everything that's Going on uh, But I'll, I'll check in with everything when I can uh, So I love y'all I really really appreciate y'all um, <clears throat> I'm excited man it's, This is uh, It's fun times man it's, uh, it's it's exciting times Like about a week and a half ago Just back to the baby We, we heard the, the heartbeat for the first time And I'm like man this thing It's so crazy man How, how Ja is Because it's like This tiny thing the body not even developed is just this small like the size of maybe like a grape or something but it had a heartbeat i'm like wow that, that that's crazy like looking at it and seeing it then like talking about it out loud it just it just makes you appreciate uh just what life is that much more man it really does but it was just it was crazy uh to see that it was crazy to to hear that that it's like because that's that's life that's life uh inside of her um, cause again, it got a heartbeat. It got a, so it's just wild, man. So um, but yeah, it's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be gonna be really fun, man. So uh, I I appreciate you all because you all are family. Um, we have shared a lot of stuff with y'all over the years. We have been through been through quite a bit. I mean, wow, this twenty 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 three been crazy. 2023 has been a crazy year. It's been a lot that has happened, ups, downs. Like, um, I remember, of course, earlier this year, uh, as we remember, the whole demonetization thing. Um, and I still have conversations with the, with some people about that, too. I know some people brought it up at the, uh, at the tailgate. <laughs> I remember when the channel got demonetized. So, yeah, man, it's, it's just part of it, man. But, um, like I told y'all, man, it, it was crazy because... Just a lot of people just looked out and a lot of people showed love and a lot of people like they really um held it down, man. So it was it was just crazy, man. Um so that there was a demonetization. There was the uh the, the interview um <clears throat> with Lamar Jackson, shout out to Nitro for that one. Uh so that that was crazy. Um that was fun. Uh it was definitely interesting. It was <laughs> we'll never forget it though. It it was cool, man. And like I say, Lamar always same person. On and off, fit, same person. What, how you see him on TV? Just chip, same person, same person. So that was crazy. Um, there was oh the the, the the Tom Grassi being able to be a part of that. The whole thirty for thirty. So that's um that was something right there. That was because that was big. What, what Tom Grassi was doing and for him to uh just for him to be willing to include us in in his thing. Like that's that's big and again the same same goes for Nitro too for him, with being willing to include us uh, in his like it's crazy and you just you're very appreciative uh, to people man for for how they are for what they do, um, so yeah man and then just I don't know it's just it's just been a lot that has been going on this year um, soon maybe by the end of this week maybe not by the end of this week but sometime soon over maybe the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll be hitting uh, 70,000 subscribers. 
seventy thousand subscribers. And why the channel? It it has um, it's been weird. Uh, and I've talked to people about this too. It's been like at a weird place. Where it's been growing, but it's been like this really really slow growth. But slow growth is better than no growth. But um, I'm just very appreciative, man, because. While we're getting ready to be at 70,000 subscribers, there have been a lot of people over the years. There have been a lot of people that have unsubscribed, too. And, and that's fine, because I always say, everything ain't for everybody. <laughs> it never will be. Uh, you may love something that we do on here. You may hate something that we do on here. And that's fine. I respect it all, because everything ain't for everybody. Um, but for almost 70,000 people to stick around, to subscribe to, to this, like, these videos, the quality ain't the best. The lighting ain't the best, the camera ain't the best, the editing ain't the best, and that stuff that none of that stuff is the best. But for people to um to support like they do, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. And I, I just I appreciate it, man. I really do. So uh <clears throat> yeah, man. Um I don't even know what else to say, man. But I like I'm I'm just I'm I'm really happy, man. I'm really happy with how things are. I'm really happy with how things are going. I'm I'm very appreciative with how things are going. Um I uh I'm just very grateful. Very very grateful uh for everything. Um and somebody um oh it was uh the rug guy. It's crazy like it's it's such a small world, man. It's such a small world because y'all know the Lamar when he was pointing at the guy, he was like, "Hey, y'all, I want that rug." And the guy was holding up the rug. He he was at our flag football game that we had uh, in 2019. He had came out, um, and he was balling out there, too. So that boy, he don't just make rugs. He cut, he cut up a rug, too. Well, not just dancing. He was dancing on the field. Like, he was doing his thing. But um, it, it, was, it was cool talking to him the other day at the tailgate. Uh, but he asked, he asked me a question, and, and I thought it was a very uh, important question. Um, he asked... How do you stay humble when you have, how do you stay humble with fans? How do you stay humble when you have a, a significant following? Uh, and how do you still continue to connect with people, like talk, keep up with people and whatnot? And I told him, like, I don't, I don't really get, I, I hate the word fans. I, I do not like that word at all. Um, that's why I always say Team keep it clean It's a family man It ain't about fans Because I, I feel like when, when somebody has fans I feel like Fans are like Consider themselves Beneath Whatever they're a fan of um, so, And I just I don't like that I never liked that word um, But I, I told him I think it's, it's very important That um, No matter how much Success you may have Or Whatever it might be, the following, whatever, it's important to know that you ain't better than nobody else. You you are not above anybody else. You're not better than anybody else. You are not more significant than somebody else. You are not more important than any. No, you you. In fact, you're worse than a lot of other people. Uh, you should consider yourselves under a, a lot of people. But um, you got to recognize that yeah, everybody everybody out here trying to get it, man. And everybody out here, they we all human. Uh, we all got. Our problems we all got our issues we all got stuff that we go through but yeah it's important to always you ain't better than a, you ain't better than the next person so sorry my wife just walked in then she, i guess she didn't hear me talking but she just walked in but anyway um yeah you ain't, you ain't better than the next person man um and that's always important to remember um so yeah i think and, and I, i've seen i've seen it on both sides i've seen people where they may get a bigger following and they may start acting different. Uh, it may change them for worse. Uh, I've also seen people where their following increases, but they remain the, the same person. So everybody's different. Everybody got their own individual path for whatever road they going down in life and whatnot. But um, I just think it's important to, uh, and, and as far as keeping up with people too, I, I try. I, I don't do the best job, uh, but we try. I, I think... Um, Stuff like questions from subscribers, that's that's very important to me because uh, it's people asking questions about whatever's going on. But um, it just, that's a way, so, I, it, and it was always important for me to allow people's, their, their voice to be heard on that level. Like, because it's, it's hard to get out there. If you got a question about something, it's hard. It can be hard. Like, it, it, they can be, and, and I, I, I 
can't fault anybody else for any way that they would do it um, because some people are just extremely busy and whatnot. Some people got a million things going on and whatnot. So as far when it comes to like stuff like questions, questions that one of their uh, somebody who's supporting their channel may have or something like that, or supporting STEM, like <clears throat> say for instance, like for a radio station or something like that. And we are definitely not as big as a radio station, but for something like a radio station, they, they, all right, call us, call in with your questions. So people will call in. And call in they'll, they'll wait a little bit Wait 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 And sometimes they, they may not get their question heard They might not make it through But what question from subscribers Is a way where people They, they can make it through To ask their questions So That's that And um And just really uh Like I I talked to one guy At, at the game And he was He was like Oh I, I wanna DM, DM you about something Just to, to keep in contact About something that he was asking me I was like yeah Just send me a DM on Twitter I said oh, Instagram <laughs> Instagram I'm way backed up on Instagram But Twitter, I'm way more caught up with that. You say your DMs are open? I say yeah, like yeah, like um, and I get why people can shut them off because sometimes people just don't want to be bothered. So I I get that, but no man, you 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 can bother me, B bother me all you want to. Um, and then I I remember another guy, uh, my guy from North Carolina. Um, he was like, oh, I, I remember I saw you at the uh, was it the Bucks game? Or the Dolphins game I think it was the Bucks game It was something I forgot what it was But he's like Oh I saw you from afar At one of the games He said I ain't want to come over to you And bother you I'm like, What? Uh, look we ain't nobody man You bother us all you want to We, we are not nobody at all So yeah I just It's just important Just to Remember that That You ain't nobody And All of this Anything that you have Anything that It, it could all be going like that So yeah, but anyway, I know I've been talking for a while. I know I've been going on a little bit of a rant, as y'all know that I can do. It's very easy for me to do that. Um, but yeah, so again, just to recap uh, everything, again, this week will be a lot different uh, than normal weeks. Um, but y'all just be patient with me because I'll I, I see y'all soon and again. Sunday, we will be streaming the game. Uh, so we'll be streaming it all together. Uh, so yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out.